When Olivia Long isn't working at the J.B. O'Keefe Gym in Fredericton, you can usually find her running cross-country. Long should drink eight glasses of water a day to be ready to run. This is what she used to put her water in. But not anymore. So I changed it up because I just found the water tasted better, but also it's important not to take those kinds of risks with your health. Like, when you're young, you think, you know, oh, nothing will happen to me. Like, it'll be fine. But a lot of the time, you do start feeling the effects. Long isn't the only one who ditched her plastic bottle. Mountain Equipment Company stopped selling the hard plastic bottles in 2007. Bisphenol A, or BPA, is the source of these worries. BPA is a chemical used to make polycarbonate plastic, the material that these water bottles are made of. BPA has been linked to a number of health issues, including obesity, behavioral problems, and early puberty. And BPA isn't just found in water bottles. In fact, you can probably find sources of BPA in your very own kitchen. You can find it in drink and food cans. It's even in receipts. David Kuhn creates policies for the Conservation Council of New Brunswick, a nonprofit environmental protection agency. Well, it's an important step, but the, but the next question is, what kind of regulatory action are they going to take? Kuhn suggests that concerned consumers send a letter to their local MP. While Canada decides what to do with BPA, runners like Olivia are hoping that their water bottle switch will get them on the road to better health. For Stew Journalism, I'm Carissa Donkin.